Hey, we have some exciting information about our trip to the United Kingdom next year. Yeah, we're really excited to share this with you guys. We think you'll like it too. So stay tuned. We're about to tell you. Now, Debbie, roll that intro. Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Those two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Welcome to the show. We are super, super excited about today's episode. We cannot wait to share this with you. We really are excited about this one. And um, we're hoping that you'll enjoy this. I think you will. So um, sit back and relax. And we're, we're just really, I think it's going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. So before we get into the video and the announcement about our trip next year, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. And consider subscribing, but check out our content. Make sure you want to be a part of our channel. So what is this big announcement, this exciting news about the UK trip we're taking yeah. next year, Debbie? Do you what have any idea? Um, I think it's going to have something to do about where we're staying. What? Um, <laughs> so we're going to have a, like Natasha and Debbie show, I'm calling it the HQ, the, the headquarters. headquarters. Um, <laughs> what we mean by that is this. So we are going to be staying with um, a friend that we've made from here, mm -hmm. who we love and adore dearly. And we've been graciously invited. So we're very much excited about that. And where we're staying is going to be in Kent. Yay! We're going to be staying there not the entire trip, but we're going to consider that our headquarters, essentially. Our home base. <laughs> our home base. Yeah. Yeah. Our main um, place to stay, and then we're going to sprout out to different locations. Yeah. We're technically just staying with her dogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're going to be staying there. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like home base, kind mm -hmm. of, really, yeah. But we're going to stay in Kent. Um, with them for a while, and we'll come back and forth here and there during the trip, right. um, but not the entire trip. But we haven't even seen Kent. We haven't. We haven't. So this lovely friend of ours told me that there's a place that she wants to put me and Debbie up for at least a night mm -hmm. while we're in Kent, and that is this video that we're looking at today. And doesn't it sound quite interesting? It, it super does. So I don't know much about it. She just sent me this video recently and said, watch this. Mm -hmm. And the title of this video is, We Stayed in a Hotel with Lions in the Room. What? Say what now? Excuse me? So I, she said something and, and she made it sound like it was a zoo. And I'm like, I'm not a zoo person. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not into zoos for reasons. But uh, she's like, no, no, it's a different. You got to check this out. And I'm like, it's okay. I'm not, I, I don't know what this is. Yeah. So, so obviously we need to check out the video, see yeah. what this is about. So this is called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Port Lynn Hotel and Reserve in Kent. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't look like that's the way it's pronounced, but I, I don't know. I'm doing my best here. No one told me it. <laughs> um, and we're going to see what this is and let us know if anyone here has stayed in this place, but I'm excited. So you want to dive right in? Let's get in it. Lions in a hotel room? What? We got to find this mm -hmm. out. Did you know there's a hotel in England where you can stay in a room with uh, actual lions? I shouldn't <laughs> be that close to a lion. <laughs> Wait, what now? In this video, we get behind the scenes access at Port Lynn Reserve to find out what on earth lions are doing in the countryside of Kent. Did she say that? As kids, we loved zoos. Mm -hmm. But then as adults, we didn't really like them at all. No, yes. Not so much. And with a child on the way, we would really love to be able to share these kind of animal experiences with them, but in a way that we're comfortable with. I agree with When you. we arrived here, they gave us one of these cool buggies to go and explore on. And it is so much fun oh. driving around I'm looking at animals. Once upon a time, uh -huh. and actually not that long ago, we would have said that any animals in captivity is- Sorry, did you know the steering wheel on that one was on the correct side for us? Oh, it was. Did you see that? It was. Hey, hey, hey. Since why mm -hmm. I'm driving that one. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Good catch there. On the time, and actually not that long ago, we would have said that any animals in captivity is wrong. I agree but with that. But as we age and wrinkle, we are changing our mind <laughs> because that is definitely a simplistic, idealistic way of looking at the world, which really isn't so black and white. No, you're Unfortunately, right. there are mm. loads of issues around wildlife, such as habitat destruction, mm -hmm. right? trafficking, yep. poaching, all these kinds of things. And at the end of the day, there are animals that need to be rescued. Absolutely. And there are mm -hmm. animals that can't survive in the wild. That's true. So what do we do with them? So that's why we're here, to investigate how we feel about these kinds of places. Oh, I love Portland this. Portland Reserve is a breeding sanctuary for rare and endangered species okay. who aim to return nice. animals born here to protected areas of their natural habitat. We've well, I'm in love with this place already. I am too. I I'm, support I'm, that kind of thing 150%. Absolutely. I'm very glad that they're going into a lot more than just to stay at the hotel. Yeah. Explaining what they do there. This, mm -hmm. is, this is awesome already, you guys. Okay, sorry. Ooh, hello. Turn animals born here to protected areas of their natural habitat. We've always struggled with the idea of animals in captivity, yeah. mm -hmm. and even experiences with non-captive animals are not without their issues. Wow. Of course, nothing can be a completely natural animal spotting or encounter, but we want to see if the types of experiences offered by Portland should also Portland. have their place. I think I said it wrong. Are you ready for this? I'm not sure if I am. <laughs> this seems absolutely bonkers already. This is the lion enclosure right here, and over there is where we're going to be staying. Oh, I don't know about this, Debbie. Well, basically. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that um, the Not sure if we're doing this wire yet. seems high enough. And <laughs> wow, I'm kind of I'm nervous already. I hear you. In the enclosure, <laughs> we're part of the enclosure. There's no sign of the lions at the moment. Good thing. <laughs> so I guess we just go and check out the accommodation. I'm very curious. Oh, wow, this is a wood fire bar that they actually come and heat up for you. Stop it! It takes two hours for them to heat it up, so we've asked them to heat it up for this evening for us. This what? will be something we get to. What? You're freaking out over there. I'm right just there. thinking, okay, a, a wood-fired bathtub that mm -hmm. heats up, so I'm just thinking it's boiled human, calling in the lions, <laughs> I mean, bringing the meat, I mean, making <laughs> human stew over here, come on. <laughs> I know that, hopefully that's not gonna happen, but mm. that's just the thought mm. that went through my head there real quick. That's what went through your head, huh? Yeah, boiled human. Okay, Still. welcome to The Real Natasha Scary. Debbie Show. She'll be here all week. <laughs> I love you. You weird, weird person. Whoa. We've asked them to heat it up, so we've asked them to heat it up for this evening for us. This will be something we get to enjoy with hopefully the view of lions behind mm. us. Yeah, going, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Americans. <laughs> this is fancy. Do you think the lions would eat us and go, Mm, tastes like additives. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, back to the video. Oh, wow. This is fancy. <laughs> oh, wow, it really is a lodge. Oh, I love it. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has those lodge vibes, doesn't it, with all the wood and everything. I love it. I mean, clearly, the main feature has got to be the window straight into the enclosure mm -hmm. of the lions, right? Yeah. We're already started. I don't want to get too excited and look over there just yet. First, <laughs> let's have a look around the accommodation. We've got a lovely bathroom here. I love it. This is great. It's this is my style. Private. This whole area, this is ours, so we can just be strolling around in the nuddies. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you've got a view. You can see Beautiful. the coast down there. Nice. Yeah. There's also an upstairs. I love a good spiral staircase. Me too. Very cool. Oh, a bedroom's up here. Nice. I think this lodge can sleep four, so there must be another bedroom downstairs. This is lovely. I love it. Mm -hmm. So far, yes. Oh, you can absolutely. see the enclosure over here through the bedroom. Imagine that coming here with our kid. And you could just be sat there watching lions. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's pretty freaking unique, you guys. Very. Very unique, as far as I know, anyway. <gasps> what is that noise? A lion. Uh, that is a terrifying noise. Cat. That is a noise. I'm not sure if it's that loud for you guys, but it instantly sends a shiver down my monkey spine. <laughs> like a guttural noise, isn't it? Like, uh. well, There's a sleeping big lion. That's a full on male lion just outside our window. Well, who's making the noise? Oh, she's making the noise. Ah, uh, there is a massive female lioness just out there. 
That's awesome. Wow, just sat in the sunshine. Getting a little warmth. Wow, mm -hmm. she's beautiful. Meet our new neighbours, Wilma and Zulu, Aww. who are both Barbary lions, which have been extinct in the wild since the 1940s. Wow. These two lions are two of only around a hundred of the subspecies wow. that exist in captivity today. Well, God bless this place for having them and taking yes. care of them. And Fortunate to have them. Oh, this is fantastic. I wonder if you could donate to the sanctuary here. Mm. Something we need to look into. Yes. Maybe they'll tell us at the end. Yeah, so this is the master bedroom. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a view. <laughs> That's huge. We can be in bed watching lions from our bed. That's awesome. W what? <laughs> it, it feels so wrong, right? Because in every sense of the word, like if you can see a lion from your bed, you should be terrified. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Look at her girl. That is a full on Lion? Female <gasps> lioness just prowling around. I'd run to the other room. I was just thinking that. Oh my goodness, where has she gone? How thick is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> Aww. She didn't care. She is <laughs> running to the other rooms. Wow. Can you hear that? Yes. That is a terrifying sound. I hear it. <laughs> I didn't think within seconds of coming in here that it would just walk past the glass like that. I wouldn't either. They know you're there. Oh my. It's kind of funny to think that we have a TV in the room <laughs> and the thought of just watching something tonight like Love Island on the TV <laughs> while we've got the ultimate show going on over there. You don't there. need a TV in there. <laughs> I wonder if they get noise complaints at this hotel. <laughs> I just have to take a second, oh wow, um, and say that I absolutely want to go here, 110%. Definitely. I won't say, my, I won't say our friend's name because I didn't ask mm -hmm. if I should, um, but you offered, we're accepting. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can put us up here for a night, and then we'll put us up here for a couple more nights, and then we should all go here together. <laughs> There's two bedrooms. Yeah, there are. So, we're all going. This is epic. This is amazing. It definitely is. I mean, I, I wouldn't imagine what this experience would be like and in it, person. Yeah. And if it had just been like a zoo, no, I wouldn't have done it. No. Uh -huh. But hearing what they actually do here, this is like the coolest thing ever, you guys. This is, I love you, United Kingdom. I really do. <laughs> the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> We have Just such your a nice sunset here mm -hmm. this evening. Winter sunsets are always so beautiful. There is this really yeah, cool are. sort of summer house that we just come across, and apparently it rotates 360, uh, so we could actually either have a view of the lions or have a view of the sunset or the sunrise cool. tomorrow That's morning. Awesome. Emma is living her best life over here. Look how idyllic this looks. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you get your wife naked. On. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Oh my god! I never thought I would see a day where I'm in the bathtub with a male lion. It just, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy! It's nice you're able to tear yourself away from Vogue for a second. I'm just using it to cover my boobs. I think you can publish this on YouTube. <laughs> True. Point taken. How was that? So, so nice. Wow. I feel like this has been the year what? of the most surreal bathing experiences That's I've ever yeah. had. <laughs> they travel. Like we had that tugboat experience in Switzerland, the incredible onsens in Japan, yeah. and now I took a bath inches away from both male and a female lion. Which I think outdoes the other ones. Really yeah, it's pretty baths. awesome. <laughs> Emma now has pathetically cold baths, all in the name of our son. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I still like it hot. Just like Marilyn Monroe, and that's a very specific reference that not many of you will get. But the movie, I'm, like I'm going to chuck more logs mm -hmm. into the fire. I've never seen a bathtub like that in my life. Have you? Um, I have it. Some of the um, yeah. cabins that I've looked at is oh, really? kind of like the natural way to heat oh. up a hot tub outside. Or I hadn't even heard so. of it, so this is a yeah. first for me. Didn't Pretty I? cool. And some are even like propane heated. Oh. So you can use a propane tank. Okay. A 
imagine if you were just walking around at night and you started hearing that in the wilderness. Yeah. That would be terrifying. Truly terrifying. Like you know they're around, but you can't oh, yeah. see them. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can't see them. He's sniffing her butthole. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> he would have said the same thing if you were out. It's like us. <laughs> he would have said that I too. I could assure you, no buttholes are being sniffed behind the scenes. <laughs> I cannot assure that on the Natasha and Debbie show. I can assure that. Wow. <laughs> oh, I want this experience. You look deep into their eyes. <laughs> it's just wrong. I shouldn't be that close to a lion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like how it's still scaring them every time. I do have to say that it's uh, wow, quite weird to see them constantly, predictably, patrolling around the edge. It does make you wonder how much space they would typically be patrolling in the wild the versus here. Yeah, I think for places like this, I have to keep reminding myself at least that you know I can't have them in this kind of perfect environment and these things can't survive without the care that they receive. Yeah. So yeah. it's a, it's a constant weird battle in my head. Mm -hmm. I can relate really One second mm -hmm. it's wow or wonder, this mm -hmm. is incredible. Then I flip to like, oh, should they be in yeah, something like I get this? It. And then I flip back and remember that they can't survive. So it's this yeah. or nothing. Or nothing yeah. It's a compromise. A lot of the time. Yeah. Agreed. Right. I really want to just, and I'm sorry pausing so much, I can't help it, but, um, I love this couple. Mm -hmm. I absolutely do. I mean, like I said, our friend just sent us this video. I never heard of them before. I don't know what else. I, obviously, they do a lot of travel stuff, but yeah, just want to thank them for this amazing video, this experience that we can watch, mm -hmm. you can watch, and hopefully we get the experience soon. Yes. I can't even imagine that. Jealous. We need to do it. I, I can't even imagine. This place is stunning too on the inside. Oh, I thought that was in the wow. room. <laughs> Alex and I are starting to feel a bit hungry now. And I think there's a choice of restaurants around the reserve that we can go to. So we are oh, just giant. down here. And we're going to be making our way all the way up to here and going on a fun little 15 minute buggy ride to get there. Don't go the wrong way out the wrong way. Yeah, door. don't go the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, this is just the coolest yeah, place this on planet awesome. Earth. Love it. Love this it, Debbie. This is fun. I do enjoy this aspect of things, like driving around in the buggy, getting lost in the middle of a safari park. Yeah. <laughs> I like that they give you free reign. Like, yeah. I shouldn't be allowed to drive this buggy <laughs> around the safari park at night. <laughs> it just feels weird. Like yeah. it feels like it should be closed, and I, I shouldn't be allowed access to this. I would feel the same They're way. They're putting a lot of trust in their guests, aren't they? No, they are. But if you go, be respectful. Don't be stupid. Yeah, exactly. So we've just arrived at the restaurant, and it feels really weird. I can't imagine there's going to be anyone else in there, right? Yeah, surely, apart from guests, who's coming to the safari park to have dinner? And there can't be that many guests in the middle of winter right now. Never yeah. know. They have like five restaurants. Yeah, <laughs> so there's probably like one restaurant per guest. I, it feels in my mind like we're going to go in there and it's just going to be, they'll be waiting for us and they're open because of us. <laughs> I feel bad that they've had to open the whole kitchen just for us. That's how British we are. I was just going to say the British is showing very strongly. I've spotted at least one other guest in there. There you go. <coughs> this is one of my favorite videos we've ever What's done. Yummy? At this point, this is one of my favorite videos ever. Yeah. For real. That looks good, you're right. <laughs> <coughs> it's such a beautiful room, too. It's just. Love mm -hmm. it. Love it. It's very well decorated. Yes. My style, for sure. I've <laughs> woken up to the sound of birds before, the sound of dogs, even the sound of chaps, but never the sound of a lion. <laughs> Whoa! Waking up and seeing a male lion at the foot of our bed. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
No, wouldn't that suck if you go put your head up there to look and then it's right there? <laughs> That's just the neatest thing ever. I need to sleep. Paul out. I mean, I slept as well as I could. I'm pregnant, so I don't sleep that well. <laughs> Poor thing. You gotta come and see the sunrise over here, guys. That's beautiful. Thanks, going out the wrong way. You can't go out the other way, but. Why are you whispering? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's stunning. I'll have a coffee, please. Have juice. 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 And mm, tea. <laughs> now that's the way to wake up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You wouldn't get tired of that. I love how these lines represent us in the morning. Oh, yeah. One's a lazy piece of <laughs> Oh, the female. And the other one's getting his steps up. <laughs> Dude! Couldn't be more accurate. <laughs> He's probably got ADHD too. Oh, there you go. But then sometimes she gets a bit of love and affection. Oh, yeah. So basically what I'm hearing here is, which one am I and which one are you? Um, I, I think I'm the male. You're definitely the male. Mm. <laughs> Minus the ADHD part, that's on me. <laughs> we were lucky enough to be able to meet with the animal director, Simon, to learn a little bit more about the place awesome. and the work that they're doing here. How much land do you have here? Uh, 600 acres. Oh, I see. Nice. And we're very lucky that we've got this kind of space for the animals. Mm -hmm. We try and look at every single species we have. Are they in a breeding program? Can they go back to the wild? How important are they? Yeah. Um, we know there's a certain amount of animals that just um, won't ever go back. Yeah. Mm. And then there'll be a certain amount of animals that will. Awesome. And the ones that yeah. won't ever, what are the reasons? Um, it may be but that they're mentally not able to go back, physically right. not able to go back. It can sometimes be that there's no place for them yet. Right. You know, there may be that there's so many high numbers that you're not in a position where it's time to actually sort them put them back into the wild. Do you reintroduce the rhinos? Uh, we have reintroduced eight rhinos back to the wild. We've taken nice. them back to South Africa and Tanzania. We're looking at the next set of rhinos to send back. So we've got another Fantastic. three earmarked for Africa. We're just trying to find the right place at the moment. <coughs> of the eight that have gone back, all of them are bred apart from one. Oh wow. wow. Awesome. So we have been quite successful. Every single one of the females that went back as their babies and the male, um, the original male, Buana, when he went back, back in the early 90s, late 80s, nice. he actually had about 20 kids. Hey, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> He's happy, keep bringing the female. <laughs> um, and so then we got... Effect. Well, yeah, it has. It's great. I mean, essentially, yeah. we got the largest collection of rhinos outside of Africa. Wow. Is it 10% wow. of rhinos in Tanzania have been introduced oh. by you? Uh, yeah, well, we've sent a lot of our animals in there. I mean, wow. again, some of these countries nice. haven't had rhino, black rhino for a long, long time. Mm. Their numbers have plummeted over years because of hunting and such like. For mm. that lovely horn that you can see there. Um, and we might stop and go and see the Indian rhino. Oh, cool. That's great. So big. Wow. They are so massive. Huge. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's <laughs> not how I expected it to feel. <laughs> how much would a horn go for on the mm. black market? It's worth more than gold and worth more than drugs. Really? Oh, wow. That's why they hunted so much. We're talking about 10,000 pounds a kilo sometimes. Right. Because they're horrible people. Mm. Um, and I guess the only way of getting it off is coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We'll talk about it's it pretty on. much. <coughs> and again, the numbers, you, they lose at about 1,500 rhinos a year in Africa. Do they have feeling in their horns? Uh, not really, it's no different than your fingernails. Oh, okay. okay. Essentially it's keratin and hair right. all mixed together and stuff and everything. Yeah. There's nothing in it, it's, it, it's no different than biting your fingernails. Okay. Mm. What's your proudest achievement? Uh, for me, it was the Javan oh, Langers and the Javan Gibbons. Uh, I helped design and build the centre out in Java um, and then to see your first primates come into your centre and actually then be released. That was amazing. Wow. That. And like how much would it would you say it costs to keep a lion? Strangely enough, lions are reasonably cheap. Okay. Mainly because you can get a lot of fallen stock from around the area that you can feed them. But if you're feeding meat, we mm. we we get about one and a half tons of meat in a week to wow. feed our entire Good. Uh, big cat section. Mm -hmm. And we've wow. got all of about thirty five hunting dogs, we've got yep. ten lions, we've got um, four tigers, so on and so oh, forth, yeah. and that costs about a mm, couple of grand wow. a week, I yeah. think, to feed. Wow. Uh, whereas primates, I'm probably spending three to four thousand pounds a week on fruit and veg. Wow. Oh wow! 
but the idea is we want them to have the best diets, we want them to be in the best situations, we yeah. want them to have the best outlook for the rest of it as well. So even oh, when we're sending yeah. animals back, like our Javan Langers or Javan Gibbons, we try and adjust their diets accordingly so they're getting more leaf, more kind of stuff they might find in the wild, even yeah. you know, importing in fruit that we'd actually find in the wild so that we okay. can actually get used to bits and pieces. Uh, you can see them on the side there, that's what they look like. They're the ones we send back to Java. Yeah. So essentially we're very lucky that we've sent about 25 you seem to sit in the back of the enclosure there oh yeah and they're amazing we've actually had them breeding in the wild which is fantastic to see the animals that you've bred Great. at your park go back into the wild and actually breed in the wild awesome and protect as much of that land out there as you can because uh like java is the most densely populated area on the planet really so yeah. when you send them back do they go back as like a group you can do it in several ways. We have sent individuals back. We have sent them back as a group as well. Um, it depends that you might, you, what you want to do is you want to send some back and then you want to mix them with wild caught ones okay. or wild born ones. So there's ones taken out the pet, in, pet industry out there right. as they're taken for pets. You rescue them and you mix them with our ones because our ones are socially better whereas the ones from yeah, the pet trading stuff are quite mental and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they have wild knowledge. So they learn off right. each other and they yep. work together oh, as a real good group. Yeah, that makes sense. So That's they beautiful. can learn off one another. <laughs> it's clear to see that they are doing a lot of good work here yeah, in Portland. Yeah, the right way. So this experience is where my head is overruling my heart because mm. I can't lie that seeing animals in captivity walking around in the same spots back and forth isn't hard to watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's not their natural environment. Their natural environment is in the wild. But they right. do look like they're really well taken care of and looked after. They all look incredibly healthy. Mm -hmm. It's clear that they're not plucking the animals from the wild here and they're not the bad guys in that sense. No, in not. an ideal world, this place wouldn't exist because yeah. people wouldn't be doing stuff like having exotic pets, poaching, encroaching on habitats, all those kind of things. Yeah. Exactly. And also, we're not trying to tell you guys what's right, what's wrong and what you should feel. That's a conclusion you can come to on your own. Yeah, we're but... just processing our own feelings exactly. when it comes to stuff like this. <clears throat> exactly. And at the end of the day, we're not doing anything <laughs> no and these guys are doing something yeah, yeah. and yeah that's got to uh, count for something right <laughs> yeah otherwise these animals are just being left to die which i don't think is the best scenario either. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or they're left in dodgy places which aren't treating them so well so at least like they, tiger king yeah. like tiger yeah. king jeez yeah. yeah so at least they're not in places like that and they do have space to roam and they are being looked after even though of mm. course the ideal situation would be different whoa 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 <laughs> Um, that was insane. That was absolutely incredible. It definitely was. I mean, that hotel was amazing to be able to sleep with the lions. One thing I would have done, I would have scooted the bed down to the window. Really? So just right there. You oh, yeah. Wild that Feet would... right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we could probably try that when we go. Guess we can. Uh, and we're going. This is happening. That is happening. Mm -hmm. That is now by bucket list item. Um, wow. I mean, just wow. Who and wants to go? Like, seriously, how many of you in the comments? Let us know. Do you not want to go here? Um, and I have to say, I do agree with this couple 100% on mm -hmm. their views on, on everything with the animals. 100%. But I do think this place is necessary. It does seem like they are the good guys doing the right thing, the right way. And God yeah. bless them. God bless them. Um, let's see if I can find more information on the website and, uh, you know, see what we can maybe do as far as donations. And yeah. maybe you guys could do the same. Um, so it's just an incredible place. Um, this is our first look at something in Kent mm -hmm. and I don't know what's going to beat this on anything on, to be honest. At yeah. This point. I don't know if anything could. Yeah, I, I don't know. I do wonder if they, since they have the, uh, lion, the room with the lion, mm -hmm. do they it's have with others? Yeah. Do they have tigers? The rhinoceros? I don't know. I was, I was wondering I mean, that too. I don't know. There are different hotel rooms in different situations. We'll we to, will look that up. Yeah. We'll have to check that out. Um, but this is definitely a place that I think is, is one of the coolest places on planet Earth right here. This oh, is definitely. The, we're going. Oh, absolutely. And I can't thank our dear friend enough for this. Um, I can't wait to go to Kent. And uh -huh. we are going to be looking more at Kent and more things to do in Kent um, coming up here very soon on our channel. We hope that you'll mm -hmm. join us. If you live in the area, say hi. Um, and we'll definitely probably run into each other. Um, not here. This is our <laughs> own thing, man. We're not telling you where we're going. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, this was great. I love this couple. They were fantastic. Um, just uh, good people. It's good to they hear. Sure were. You know, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, just the place itself too. Mm -hmm. I can't say enough about this. This was so fun. I think I smiled, if almost the entire video, if uh -huh. not the entire video. Like it's incredible. It's just incredible. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this half as much as we did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because. 
this is some cool stuff right here. Um, mm -hmm. We really hope that you did enjoy this. I don't see how you can't. No. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, until next time, please love like jazz. Be a strongest Tyson. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.